talk today uh, about the context uh, of our uh, research uh, environment, environment. Uh, and, uh, and, and the diverse applications of the type of people that people may serve. Uh, uh, why is this amendment? The benefits, the benefits uh, in our experience, uh, in our experience, uh, are more than X. The center itself has three major components. A research component in which there's 11 independent laboratories. A service component, which is open to the entire college and all large laboratories, like microscopic furniture fashion. And a technology development component, which we call the innovation laboratory, where we meet the specific needs of the technology that we cannot buy off the shelf. From the core course, the graduates are going to talk about how to make the decisions about making the right 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 decisions about so, in the so, recent laboratory, there, 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 there are 11 independent laboratories laboratories for own funding. funding. Um, um, these labs are not only my my class, my class, my class, my class, my class, my the uh, my other my class, my that use that use my class, 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 so there are approximately 75 people in the and they, they range from the and image imaging, if it's more biological and their background, background, to experts, experts who are biophysicists, uh, who are used to writing the writing code, code, code and, and, and designing their own design design optical path. So, so overall, our objective is to make the nature of the and the nature of the software. We want to make the technology accessible, both from the biological perspective and also from the microphone that we have in our so, you so a new course, 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 so, uh, so uh, quick, quick, you can go to our website, website and get more information, information, about information about our investigators, and, 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 and there's the first uh, uh, interest. interest. The service the component, component of, of the center uh, is quite uh, 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 and microscopy. And a lot of terms we implement our facility, you see the spot scanning, contrafocal, light scanning, contrafocal, focal, the same discount. Uh, um, but also, but also, also the homegrown system that the facility maintains to a specific need that the research program has had. had. And these and are and examples of systems, systems, systems that were developed in, in independent research laboratories and centers and are pushed, pushed to, to a broader, broader uh, arena. arena. And are now served by the core facility. So the core facility has its own staff, its own staff, direct or left on the line by processing the specific director and also a staff and technician that train and assistance users. And, and uh, it's a really great, great source for Einstein and also a great source for the New York region for anybody to act up. Keep us keep us through the facility. The innovation laboratory is a place in which we build uh, custom tailored custom tailors and to address me to address me to they then convert into a business by training by training of uh, one of our, one of our, 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 our master, master developers, developers who will work with, with the investigators, investigators to identify, identify the health field, the health field, the path, if the investigators need them. Sometimes the investigators have to help stop the work for the old UI citizens and they can build their own path. But the bottom line is we want to provide the right environment in which they can work. Jeff Weitzhoff is someone who has a personal and vital energy to go for a lot of scientific help to people who are working in their room. And these are on, 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 this, on this slide, you see the example of the types of instrumentation that we built that are not necessarily commercially available or commercially viable technologies. They're built using off the shelf components, and we integrate them, but 
with, with software and then later with analysis. But, but these are not the types of applications that a company would make money selling. So that's why you have to do this. So basically, our goal is to target, target the implementation of software development to actual actual to actual to actual to actual 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 uh, for now, in Ithaca, where we're we, we, we we looking at the to do not just make things in Zoom We're really going to do anything with Zoom Uh, wherever we can be in the non technology, so that we're not re- so that we're not reinventing. The idea is to provide a competitive advantage for investigators, but commercial commercial limitations do not exist. And also, we want to provide public investment and advise others, others so that they can make what we're doing. Because ultimately, the company is not just really here. I mean, we have to be able 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 so one of the so challenges, challenges within, within our in the organization laboratory, laboratory. Um, um, is that this is an academic, academic department. So, so what that, that means is that, that um, you know, yeah, any, any academic department will work with creativity and independence. Postdoc, postdoc, postdoc. Those coming here are experts in biology, biology, engineers. They have no knowledge of the software hardware that they need to earn their PhDs. And then we want to have control over their project and, and how, it's, how, it's, uh, how it works and, and know all the details. Also, uh, we need to support a, a wide variety of devices, hardware, camera, system microscope stands, uh, autofocus hardware, you know, or you may know there's many different types of autofocus hardware out there. They're very useful, but difficult to support on, a, on an individual basis. We've got all sorts of other automation for the AOT and the perfusion system. And so one of, our, one of my challenges as a person in charge of the air for towards this transfer is to make sure that we can maintain continuity between generations of developers. Otherwise, as we lose the investment we've made in a particular technology, that's also that's more difficult, difficult to broadcast that technology to technology if we're not we're following, following as much as standards as possible. possible. And also, and we can even be a more rapid prototype and then and 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 the 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 So, you know, I'm not sitting around on the table. Can we do this and that? You would not do that. And so, the quicker we can respond to that type of a query, the more useful the technology will become. Everything in the body is that the barrier to using the technology is in a way. So, the focus is on hypothesis and studying. The science, science. It's not really it's not on really product, 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 product. So we're not really using whatever we're going to be doing to, to, to make it really all really finished finish and finish user made and user made like that. Although our core 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 by the time the core 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 if we can build it, it should be built. I mean, is it, is it necessary to build everything? Build everything. And, and that's one of the one of the, uh, uh, one of the issues that we have to deal with. So, so, so that involves balancing resources. It involves balancing resources. And people, people, space, space, and money. And generally, we can, we can, get, we can use can one to trade off on another. And, and um, um, so sometimes, sometimes you can find more people for a project and take them time. But, you know, but one of our primary pressures here is that there's a short time, a short time to succeed for, for career advancement. And also we have to deal with grant side. Grant side. So it's not as if it's really completely open-ended. Open and, and that's one of the things that we really have, really have to, to, to try to get across to people when they start a project project. What's the quickest route to getting something usable? It may not be the first thing, and it may not be the thing you want to have to have necessarily. But can we get data and be working working? So, so the, the software that we use most commonly, commonly, commonly to integrate our Microsoft, Microsoft our MATLAB, LabVIEW, Lab and, and we've also tried Micro Manager, but three and four years ago, like the Gavity, I don't know, Linux is pretty just tiny, it's tiny, it's tiny, it's worth nothing, and it's been one of the more often Micro Manager, and that's been a very, very good effort, effort. And, and I know that there's just some people involved in trying to make that good. 
um, really, it's, 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 it's time consuming. And, and all the packages, packages in that lab 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 have their sprints, but, but they also have weaknesses that they're, they're not specifically targeted, targeted to so by national application to the basic science applications. applications. So, so what, that, that, what that means what that is that we have to do a lot of customization so that the user experience is portable between micro And when we talk to the manufacturers, although they're happy to support the product that they sell, they're not really able to support the hardware or specific applications that they may have in mind. And they don't really speak our language. Um, and also, um, and also the of that, and of course, we, we have the development of the packages before. Once one part of acquisition system works, thinking that it becomes a low priority, priority. that's something that, 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 that comes from creating once we have a bank of data, 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 data when we collect a terabyte of data. Going back and looking at it again and not knowing how to get that fire becomes a problem for knowing what we have to do with the filter set. So it's really important to get all the data in the data data. That just becomes a low development priority. Like I was saying before, we're not really actually making the product products. We really just want to get the data. So how do we uh, address the problem? And then we do all of the solution that, 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 that we found was to, to use uh, metamorph, uh, 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 and uh, and uh, uh, for metamorph. metamorph. So um, transitioning to metamorph was expensive. Um, there's, a, there's an outlay that you have to have to make it better. But what you're buying is for the and so what you get is value. And so you have a stable product that works right out of the box that has support, uh, supports the storage of the media, uh, supports all the metadata and standard tips, all the metadata and standard tips, nothing, there's no proprietary file formats here, you can open all the images in the image J or any other format and you can see the metadata and read it. You have to go out and use the metadata. And uh, one of the nice things thing for us was the transparent level of abstraction between the software and hardware. What it means is that users can use any one of our microscope stations and get the same look at the same essential. So they didn't have to know that one station had an internal defocus motor and another one had a PAM defocus motor. Although there might be some consideration for a particular experiment. So the most part didn't know that they had a seat in the And that's important. Particularly, particularly for users that, that are not novices. Another value that is for us was the new of So in our region, uh, uh, recovered by bioengineering, and Laura Lang, Laura Lang, Dr. Field, and David St. George, you from the work in the office. Sometimes with some issues that we've had, we've been able to reach out to our dealer and ask for help. And sometimes they have a chance to answer, sometimes they can work on something for us. But basically, it's an extra pair of pants, a new pair of pants. That's that our own owners, and that's very important. And, and of course, the people that know that are helpful as well. But the value for our acquisition is more easy, and I'll show you how to go. And the value for our analysis became clear as our bottom line moved downstream from acquisition. So before we moved to that award, we spent a lot of effort on getting our acquisition taken. Once we moved to that award, people got that. You knew that. It didn't take very long. We realized that our bottom line was more analysis. And, and we were able, able to perform most of our analysis now using that metamorphosis. So, so we, we're using an offline platform for the license service to be able to address that need. So that people who are doing only analysis, analysis, analysis but not clogging up an acquisition instrument to, to do analysis. So what are the things by hitting the ground running? Well, well, the instrumentation that you had in mind is that you had to address the rest of the, the, the research project. project. So we get increasingly increasingly indicated. For example, for example all, the Olympus had a, had a zero drift concept in the CEC, and their and product products that product every manufacturer back now is similar. And then Olympus was just by the way, it's not that it's integrated, integrated to the stand. Um, and, that and that was hard for us to support. support. It, was, it, was it was really a tricky device for driver to write, and um, we were wasting a lot of time to support a feature that. None of Metamorph them. gave us right, 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 right away. Right away. And that, and that was something that was very, very helpful. It was an immediate plug for it. Also, also the ability, ability to support that, that part. So then, so then we can do uh, uh, PTL presentation and, and, and to have, have an analog out of the so that we could adjust laser powers. It's not, it's not something that we can use new ride drivers for. Um, I mean, Lab, you have pretty good support for a very good support for the National Instrument Board. 
But, but it's, it's again, again, it's tricky to write, to write in, 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 in the one of basically. So, so we, we can take our effort, instead of having, having the right drivers for these devices, devices, we were able, able to focus our expertise, expertise and the expertise of our, our, our postdocs on, on software, software to perform an analysis, analysis that, that is not conventional, not, not commercially viable. viable. You think that that was specific to our needs, and that turned out to be to the advantage of that was very helpful. As, as I mean, time, time is a, a limiting factor for us. It's a limiting resource for us. So, 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 so spending that money on that more certainly helps us gain people, people hours. Uh, uh, and and then then more things about the people, people who are going to want to stay on top of developing the drivers. So they may need to use two Android cameras simultaneously. Then we more for the able to support that. Or when we've got nasty labs, micro and nano changes embedded in each other. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, more people come through with the project. Yeah. So, so those are things that we did not have to do on our own, and that, that was really good. Making, Making that transition to NX, you know, so people are really used to, to, to version 7 and all of its features and, and the way the interface looks. But why NX? So one of the things that I observed in our environment was the lower threshold for for users. So, so I, I know the people were, were intimidated often by the toolbar and the very uh, uh buttons on it and everything uh, the uh, the work works on the memory on and so and that's you naming what's not to come a more mainstream interface for software on the Windows platform. For example, anyone who uses Microsoft Office knows it's a ribbon. Or if you think about plot for statistical analysis, there is a version of these delivered as well. It's something that people use more intuitively, I found. Uh, people who are used to old software packages may have a little finding in precisely what they're looking for in Word, for example. But someone who's never used Word before can find what they're looking for. So when I, I train people using NNS, the training time is actually low and low because the ribbon or the toolbar is on top. Actually, promote the, the mind that necessary for someone to be able to go through the depth of title of title title acquiring what it is and doing the work on it or learning the channel, adjusting the level of the Or even simple, simple things like, like knowing, knowing the position of the multiple field fields in the chain. So, one feature in the end is a little map map show that shows you where you're in your identified by the position of the chain. That's a really neat feature. But in addition, in addition to, to, to being to be easier, easier for, for not as not users, one of the things that I really appreciate that is that, that it's, it's got a great simplification from expert expertise. And it's it helps help address, address the need that, 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 that high end users, users, for example, biophysicists and physicists, people who are real, real, real programmers and have to have a lot of trees. By, 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 by iron, by iron, by iron, by iron, by iron, by basically a, a, a language that Microsoft has asked us to work with, with their operating system. Yeah. And, and um, um, it's pretty easy to learn to learn any programming language. Which I did not know, know my Python before, but as a result of, also of, of this product, 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 I've learned it. And, and um, um, it's very it's useful because not only can you plug in, you can have access to all the features that are within Metal but also the yeah, features to, 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 yeah, you have a way to connect to, to things that are being done. Yeah. For example, yeah. if you're writing yeah. programs yeah. in that lab yeah. and you can compile them, yeah. you can compile them as a dot that might be right everybody excited about. And, and uh, I understand, I understand that, that the manufacturers have had more and more have an interest in, 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 in doing more than make any that it's easy to be able to explore. And and the editor that is in Metamorph and NX. It has a feature where it can auto complete command. And that's also a useful way to make sure that you never have all of the features in that more. You can then do the same type of program that you would do if you were using the integration of the audience and expression features. And for a developer, it's actually quite easy to use something with auto complete. And you're free from from having to have a manual that's full of detail. It's also, and also using it and helps us to build the NIH and the NIH initiative because we can now more easily share with people, people, not, not just, just vertical file for acquisition, but also any scripts that we make in our Python or acquisition for our So we 
the number of people who can tailor a sports something for a particular application, for a particular student, it would be easier for us to share with others. How would they get done? So basically, anybody who's not a more will be able to use the same script that they can go. And the script would not be dependent on what camera you're using or what stage you have. What the motor is, because it's the level of abstraction that we're going to provide, basically, liberally from one way or another about details. So we have to use a little stand, for example, if someone's using a library stand. So just to take it from some of the uh, application data we have here on the lab, just basic ideas for, for, for basic, give you a basic idea about how we do that on the so, so here's an example of a conventional six-cell station in one of the independent laboratories within the, uh, within the center. Nothing particularly fancy inside the other than it's a standard of an upright microscope and a upright microscope and a cool camera. Uh, more than I can once again, right out of the box, uh, none of the more supports all the that you have to that. And, what does it mean that that novice user who is the most basic form of fluorescent imaging now has the same interface that someone who uses it on a most sophisticated microscope? So someone who gets trained on this system as a starter is familiar with the interface of all of our systems, and that that makes the, the, the threshold for, for learning about new systems much lower. And that's something that I really appreciate because it means that we spend that less time training people. Um, so, one of the items here is users can create a template for their imaging with a reusable protocol file. And so, for novice users in particular, they really they don't have to think much. After they make their first protocol, they say they're going to image with four fluorescent channels, and they're going to take a certain number of deep planes with a certain spacing, and if they want to do all their experiments the same way, they now have a file they can use. Additionally, it's got an easy to get some automation. You can identify multiple fields and devices, and essentially just set the system and go. And that's something, something that we found easier to do with, with metamorphs than with, with the other packages that we had been working with before. Certainly, Certainly even that didn't come from the programs that we were writing with last night. So, with uh, uh, Iron Python, 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 there's some features that we can add that the people have been asking for. So, basically, when they set up an automated image and they walk away, Microsoft will, will, will go all off on the floor a few hours. They're not really sure when it's going to be done. Of course, they can do some calculations, but ultimately, they just want to know what they have to say. So, this is something that we can write. It's not something that we can do. 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 And then, and then we can share with people. And that would be really neat. Or if someone gets to it before us, we can use it. So, so that, that's something, something just for a basic user is, um, uh, would be helping help for, for those of those of us on for, for, for making the technology that's possible. Uh, uh, here's, here's an example, example of one of our more than the same type of application. Uh, this particular microscope is a dual EMP camera. And which we're imaging in three dimensional, three dimensional uh, uh, generally, generally 30, mil 30 millisecond. Second time. Second time. And the detail is just the detail of the microscope. But thank you for the, 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 so one of the challenges that we, that we had here was, was how is it that we wouldn't get, get the, the software to send out another protocol, protocol when it's already waiting, waiting for the acquisition? The, acquisition. the CPU is not available to send out another protocol. There's only one who got playing at one time. So what we went on to do in the next thing was implementing a delay laser using a micro So these are parts that cost less than 100 bucks total. If anyone's interested in detail, I'm happy to provide them. But uh, the, the bottom the line, line is, uh, uh, with a microprocessor that you can program in basic, basic, you can uh, basically send a command in the material form from, from the metamorph 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 before you would to wait for, to to wait for, for uh, a full uh, star screen uh, acquisition. And, and then uh, you can specify some of the length of length, and then the microprocessor will send a friend And then your two cameras will be single. And that's it.
great way to bring around the opportunity for the future. So, it's because once again, one of the nice features of the network is that when you send out an Instagram, then you send out an Instagram. Really low overhead on all of these ones to do that. And the entire solution for Jeff was a nice way for us. We did not have a custom design bucket with fancy, fancy code, for example, in the lab. You went back and forth for it. We didn't have to do any of that. Basically, just using off the shelf network and making a delay certain of less than 100 million dollars. Very simple to put together. We got the job done. So that was something that was refreshing. Refreshing. Here, I'm going to give an example of a basic life flow in the organization that we maintain. We've got many of these types of stations around us. Here you can see, if you're familiar with a lot of these products, a lot of stuff is not the conventional on the shelf. To the left on the shelf there are the laser that you can cut them. They still have to come to the of the microscope. The microscope also uses a conventional DD4 from the other world of radiation. And one of the features we'll see on this micro microscope is that there's a oscilloscope that we use. So that it can be very satisfying when it's working with the microscope. So one of the things that happens on this is there's a problem with the first version. Something just not just And it's hard to find the problem with the problem with the biology or the optical system, the hardware, the software. So one of the things that's a good idea is to put in the hands of the user is the ability to verify if the system is actually working the way it's supposed to work. And the telescope can also use the monitor when the camera is taking the exposure. When, when the, the, for example, the DD4 in this case is actually illuminating the sample. sample. And, and at what position position is this? So, so using all using those, those inputs, inputs, you can see there's three inputs there. there. So, so, so the user can then look at the trace and, and see, okay, okay, okay. this is how the uh, these stages are ramping. ramping. These are where the exposures are firing. And this is when my light source is open. And if there's a problem with the synchronization of the light source, it would show up immediately on the oscilloscope. So, so someone can um, then isolate the whether a problem is related to the, the hard hard box or the biology. And I encourage people to integrate the so they don't have to be very expensive depending on the time resolution and the number of channels they want to use. So this is still so for example in a buddy that we've got But it's a great tool to have just permanently part of your microscope for people to be able to use. So one of the types of application that we can perform in this microscope, the previous we had tried to support for a custom software that was a white whiteboard application, but in this case we did just metal one, was to perform the frame frame. So you saw that laser in a couple of eyes actually comes in and a diffraction of points or a slightly larger one diffraction of and so and we're able to, to perform a form of for the uh, in the optical access. So what happens is someone has a body party that they want to bleach, each, and then the stage moves to that particular area, area and, and the laser fires. And then you have your recovery by the body in the DD4 form, in this particular example. So here's a, a timeline for that particular experiment. So we've got some pre-time, time, 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 A, which is a high resolution imaging and recovery, and post HP is a lower temporal resolution imaging time. And then we've got three particular devices that we're going to use The laser is going to be four and three. So you can see in each part of the timeline what we expect that device to do. So in the previous so week, we said the laser was going to be so at high time we're ready to go. go. So, so not, not in time frame though. And, and uh, the DD4 will be at a close close to the stop. And then the DCD will be at a close close to the stop. And then the DCD will be at a close close to the stop. Or if we think these back to our products, these back to the stop. Typically, the experiments are looking at the stop. We're going to do a minimal point. Then we've got the bleach type of bleach after those are the first three bleach things. And in this case here, it's a laser laser laser. Then, then as quickly as possible, possible microsecond is basically, basically instantaneously. instantaneously. And, and the definition of instantaneous is on the top. Uh, uh, you want to want to do image in the post So, uh, uh, so uh, when that means the DVD screening mode in the DM camera, DG4 just on specifically because there's no 
Essentially, you know, know uh, down time with, with, uh, with, with a friend, friend from Central Canada. 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 You're always, always in the image. Had the latest image of the same thing, so. And then, and then post the post in post-NC, we're, we're moving to, to uh, uh, a time zone, time zone essentially, where there's, where there's, where we're taking things for every 20 seconds or or a half, depending on what the term is. So, what we used to do to deploy this before was we used to write custom software. Once again, we used to use lab that has more of a charge as well. But we found that using the journalism in we don't need to need that. Just using the most initial requirement, we were able to achieve this experiment. Once again, we just thought about it right out of the box. So we did not have to customize anything further than what was already available in in Metamore. So it did require someone with sophistication to to think about, think about how to design my experiment, experiment and what, what, what into, 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 into the timeline and how to, how to compose the, the, the multiple visual require protocol. But, but it, it, it was something, it was something that was straightforward for, for, for the post office about the project to, to, to grasp and, and then to customize, to customize for their needs. And, and this is an example of how something in some products you buy from a flash one. To be able to do some kind of And then we're going to do some kind of Once again, you can do it in a way that you can share the protocol part of the study and what they have as well. And certainly within the lab, we're going to do that quite a bit. So, so there are examples of things that we have here that clearly are not appropriate for So here's an example of an FCS system that uses DTGD to record data. So we're not, we're not uh, going to use this station data for it. We really would not be taking advantage. This is a, a special, special form of the product product product. Product. And, and it has a specialized analysis in the way that the world is supported. So not everything is going to be done without the whole environment. Another issue I want to touch upon is when to make the transition. Is when to make the transition to the next one. So we have a lot of people here who are using, using version 7. And so what so we've done here is we maintain version 7. Version 7 and then NX. So we can both be installed in the same time. And we have a lot of people who have done these new uses of the new version 7. So we can both be installed in the same time. And we have a lot of people who have done these new uses of the new version 7. Will be, will be an end. So what I mean by that is the one who has more control over the environment, who can take advantage of the Python, and want to link them to 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 for people, for people who have been in the version 7 and they're used to it, there's certainly there's value that I've not had enough to let people do this work. But at some point, we're going to move people over people. That's what the strategy that we've been taking to move people over is to have them do this work. And then we're going to move them over to the next version. And then we're going to move them over to the next version. And then we're going to move them over to the next version. So the fourth thing is the question is one of the things that the network team and the network team and the network really great really product. Great product. Really helped us really out a lot. I'm really excited about the development that I've done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Also, Arlo, the whole time will be by Vision. Thank you very much. 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 Because there was a little bit of 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 a
Okay. I just want to thank everyone for uh, joining us and keep uh, surprised for the next Mount Back Water Mountain Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there was a question from uh, Daniel Thomas if you're still on here. Wanted to know whether the Mount Elmore has a metal view in the environment. The uh, Mount Elmore does, and it does. It's in the Mediterranean Administrator, it's where we can figure that. But currently, the Mount Elmore Phoenix does not, but it's something that we will be implementing in the future today. Okay. So, so before when we had all the floating toolbars and we had all the very common things, yeah. But now it's much more than the um after something like this. Okay. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.